Oh no, everybody running high. It's the end of the world. Again. Again. Okay, first of all, I'm over being scared of shit. I'm over the media always trying to scare people. Always, it's always, 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 always fear. Fear, fear, fear. Be afraid, be afraid, be afraid. Um, no, I'm not going to be afraid because it's bullshit. It's always bullshit and I don't know why people don't realize that it's bullshit. How do they keep doing these same tricks over and over and people keep falling for it? So now today, we're supposed to be afraid because this, all the stocks are going down. The NASDAQ, the Dow, all this, that, and the other. And we're supposed to be scared. We're supposed to be in a panic. Uh, no. First of all, I don't give a fuck because I don't own no stocks. Um, and the first thing that CNN and MSNBC are going to tell you is, yeah, but you still need to be scared because all your retirement is in mutual funds. And if that goes down, then all your financial stuff, it affects you too. Okay. No, because, and this is how you know it's not true. Because first of all, the first, all the headlines say, if you go to CNN right now, it tells you that it hasn't been this bad since 2008. 2008. Three years ago, 2008. I don't even remember 2008. 2008, I don't remember that being a bad year. I don't remember um, the world ending in 2008. Apparently it didn't because it's 2011. I'm still here. So why should I be afraid of 2008? First of all, y'all rich people ain't fooling nobody because we know that them damn stocks are going to um, come right back up. And because rich people are hoarders. They are money hoarders. They got billions of dollars. And you would think if you had billions of dollars, just imagine what your life would be like. Well, guess what? If you had, if you grew up rich, like most of these rich people, most of these, you know, millionaires and billionaires and stuff, they don't. They got to work. They got to always make money because a billion dollars ain't enough. If you got a billion dollars, you want two billion dollars. If you got two billion dollars, you want five billion dollars. If you want five billion, you got five billion dollars, you want ten billion. You always going to, if you, these people always want more money and they're not going to just sit with that money in the bank and sit on it. They're going to put it right back in the stock market. This stuff is temporary. Two months from now, we're going to be scared of something else. Because let me tell you something. If it don't, you keep letting them stocks go down. You let them stocks go down to a penny, and I'm going to be rich because I'm going to buy all them stocks. And, you, and them stocks going to come back up. So you go ahead and let them stocks keep falling down, and I'm going to buy it, and then I'm going to be rich. And let me tell you something, rich people. You don't want me to be rich because if I'm rich, I'm going to be all in all, in all your little personal places, your little restaurants I can't afford to eat in, and all them little places, and I'm going to be talking shit to your face all the time about how greedy you are and how I remember how poor I was and the shit you put me through. And yes, I'm going to go up to each. I'm going to go up to rich people I don't even know and be like, it's your fault. I remember you. You made me work eight hours a day. No, I'm a, you don't want me to be rich. 2008. I'm supposed to be scared of 2008. I don't remember 2008. I, I remember Heath Ledger died in 2008. I remember that. I remember where I was when Heath Ledger died. I remember I was in the line at Best Buy, and I got a text message from a very reliable source that told me that, that Heath Ledger uh, had died. And I told the, um, the, the lady that was checking me out in the cash in the line, and she didn't believe me. We got into a 25-minute conversation about how traumatic this was to find out that Heath Ledger was dead. I remember where I was for that. I don't remember where I was when those stocks um, crashed in 2008. I don't even remember it. So I can guarantee you that you know two months from now, I'm not going to remember this shit either. But the media is always trying to scare you something. I cannot remember a time where you were not supposed to be scared of anything. Let's go back in memory and just think about all the different things that we were always supposed to be scared of and had none of that stuff ever happen. How many apocalypses have we went through? We have been, all of us are Buffy. We, if you have watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer, you can relate because all of us have been through multiple apocalypses and all of us have survived. We are all slayers in our lives. Let's see, we had Y2K. That was back in 1999. Y2K. Y2K was supposed to be a computer glitch that was going to end the world as we know it. We were going to go back to the Stone Age because all technology, at the, at the strike of midnight, December 31st, 1999, was going to stop because of some computer, computer glitch. Planes, I'm not making this up, planes were supposed to fall out of the sky. Um, the banks were going to lose all your money. They told you, just go to the bank and withdraw a couple hundred dollars just in case. You're supposed to go to the store and buy all this food. I remember Food Line was wiped 
out. They want nothing on the shelves. People were scared because people believed that this was actually going to happen. Except for at my house. Um, Miss Little, she won't buy no extra groceries. And I begged her. I was like, Mom, Mom, but what if it happened? What if it's true? Can't we buy some bread? Can't we buy some, some water? Can't we buy something? She would not prepare for anything. And she was like, no, we ain't buying shit. I was like, mom, why? She goes, because ain't nothing going to happen. And I was like, how do you know, mom? How do you know? She said, Joseph, do you really think I'm going to wake up tomorrow and Visa and MasterCard and my mortgage and all that stuff going to be wiped away? You think that I'm going to wake up tomorrow and all my bills going to be gone? That ain't never going to happen. <laughs> and you know what? My mama was right because we woke up January 1st and you had to go back to work. You had to pay your bills just like every other they ain't nothing happened. Then let's what's up. What's some other stuff that happened? Uh, mad cow disease that was supposed to end beef as we know. All the hamburgers in the world was just gonna die because if you ate a hamburger, it was a disease that was gonna rot your brain. Uh, some other diseases. Then you had uh, West Nile. And that was passed on through mosquitoes. So you weren't supposed to go outside because of West Nile. And you're supposed to be scared of West Nile. I guess because West Nile sounds like it come from Egypt or the Middle East or something. So you're supposed to be scared of anything, you know, that sounds exotic or that's outside of the country. You had SARS that was from China. Anything outside the country is going to kill you. If it's from another country, it's going to kill you. Um, killer bees. Um, Y'all might not remember Killer Bees. I remember Killer Bees because they had three, not one, not two. They had three made-for-TV um, movies about Killer Bees. Um, some kind of way they came on a crate and went from Africa to South America. And then they were making their way up South America up. And they are supposed to go, you know, into Texas and then spread out, you know, throughout the country. They had charts. How they knew, how they knew where these bees were going to go, I don't know. But... That's what was supposed to happen, these killer bees. And then when people start not being scared of killer bees, because they're like, bees, like, they, they're going to swarm it? And then, they ain't no, you know, people couldn't relate. And, and plus, you didn't see, like, no news footage of it happening in South America. And they didn't have to, because all they did is they changed it from killer bees to Africanized killer bees. And then that scared people again, because anything from Africa is going to kill you. I guess it was supposed to um, sting you and give you a bloated belly and spread famine. I don't know what it was supposed to do, but anything from Africa is definitely, if from a foreign country you're supposed to be scared of it, then from Africa it's definitely going to kill you and it's going to be painful. Um, just one thing after another. You know, this whole world financial crisis was supposed to happen, not just America, the world. Like, that was going to happen. Now we got the stock market. And I just, you know, I just really, I don't give a fuck. I just really am done being scared. And I don't know why people continue to be scared. I'm not concerned. I'm much more concerned about uh, what is going to happen to Lafayette on True Blood. I'm concerned about that because, you know, he keeps finding himself in these bad situations. It's not his fault. Uh, but I'm not concerned about rich people in their stocks. And uh, if you choose to be, that's on you, boo. And that's all I got to say about it. Peace.